First Team 836 The Robobees started in 2001, founded by Mr. David Buddenbone. Through build seasons and kickoffs, we've evolved to include community outreach locally and nationally and help to build two FRC teams, an FLL team, and an FTC team. I think I always hoped that it would. I think the first year when you were struggling through the, you know, the rookie first year, you're just hoping that you get through that first year. But I always hoped that it would be as big and, and, and as you know, provide as much enthusiasm and all that kind of stuff for students. So yes, I did have that hope. At the end of the 2014 season, Mr. B retired. Following his retirement, our superintendent and principal also retired. We no longer had a workshop and our future was uncertain. Mr. Eric Wood, who had led our Copper Community Outreach and Public Relations subteam since 2010, became our leader and we forged ahead, still spreading the message of thirst and passion for STEM at the St. Mary's College River Concert Series over the summer and various public library events. As the school year began, we got our new space to work in and began our food drive, helping Toys for Tots, building an FLL team, and assisting other FLL teams, as well as staffing a local FLL qualifier. We taught STEM activities at the Hollywood Elementary School Reading Night and the Leonardtown Elementary School Science Night. We've evolved our community outreach into TSR, Team Social Responsibility, to reach out globally by raising funds for Hope HIV, an organization dedicated to helping children in Africa who have been orphaned by the HIV AIDS epidemic. We've also developed and published online buzz courses for fourth and fifth grade science lessons. We are ever evolving and forging ahead to build the blocks to continue to promote FIRST, STEM, and our TSR. I think it's great that students, people, learn to have a giving heart and to be able to support community outreach, whether it's locally or internationally. I think people should always give back. People should always have that social conscience.